This question tells me about a system, and we're asked what values of k will make the system causal. And when considering causality, the only thing that matters is this bit between the brackets. This has to be less than or equal to t. That's my criterion. That's the condition for causality. So a causal system can never anticipate the future. So when we have t equals t, we can't have, we can't be looking at x at any other instant in the past, in the future. We can look in the past, but not in the future. So we can start with that as our criterion. We can say kt squared plus kt minus 1 has to be less than or equal to t. And we can rearrange to make an inequality with t with 0 on the right-hand side. And if we take t common, we k minus 1 times t minus 1 less than or equal to 0. So here we have a, a quadratic, t squared. And what does a quadratic look like? A quadratic will look either like that or like that, either an upwards opening or a downward opening parabola. But we're told that this parabola is always negative. It's either zero or negative. So clearly, it can't be an opening, an upward opening parabola, because an upward opening parabola wouldn't always be negative. So we now know our parabola looks something like that, and that tells me that k has to be negative. But we also know that if it's always less than or equal to zero, that means that our parabola will either have one solution, one repeated root, or it will have no solutions. It'll be one of these two. So either um, a repeated root, or no real roots, okay? And we can um, quantify this criteria by saying that the discriminant, that is b squared minus 4ac, has to be less than or equal to 0. So this discriminant, oops, this discriminant comes from um, A, B, and C, where this is my A, this is my B, and that is my C. So I can say B squared minus 4AC is K minus 1 squared minus 4K times minus 1. And that has to be less than or equal to zero. Now this less than or equal to zero doesn't come from here. It comes from here. Okay, so it's the discriminant that has to be negative because we decided that there were no real roots or repeated roots. So we decided that because we know that it's a downward opening parabola that's always negative. So we now have a new expression to solve, which is this. And this is also a, a, um, a quadratic. So if we open the brackets, we have a quadratic in k that looks like this, if you collect like terms, and that's less than or equal to zero. And we can solve that. We can either use a quadratic formula or you can factorize. So minus 1. So that means no plus, plus, plus. Yep, yeah, so k equals minus 1. That is my solution. So the only value 
that will make this inequality here hold, i.e. will make the system causal, is the value k equals minus 1. That's the only, the only value. So the question asked for a range of values, but we couldn't find a range of values. We found a single value, k equals minus 1. The question then goes on to say, how will you describe the system when k is 5? Well, k is 5 is not the same as k is minus 1. So if k is minus 1 is the only value that will make this system causal, we can say that um, when k equals 5, the system will be non-causal and even if you hadn't even if you hadn't solved this you could still answer this bit simply by substituting k equals 5 up here and here so if you were to substitute 5 instead of k you would then have a quadratic that would on occasion be greater than t. So you could say the system is non-causal because there are instances in time when this expression would be greater than t. But in our case, we've solved it. We've found that k has to be minus 1 for the system to be causal. Therefore, when k equals 5, it is a non-causal system.